okay, well, I'm sitting here and I'm looking at, okay, well, we can see where the first vector comes from, right? Maybe we should actually just stop for a moment and look at the vector form of this problem, okay? So I'm going to just kind of transform it. First of all, we have our point A, which I'm just going to put as a big fat dot. Okay, then you draw it on over till you get to here. Okay, this will be our point B. And then you draw that vector up. Okay, now that will be our B vector. This will be B vector, so let's just draw that B vector. And this will be point B as well. Okay, this is what I call R of B, because it's a vector to point B. That makes sense. Well, what about this point down here? What about C? What about C vector, you know? First of all, I want to point out, C vector is the same direction and the same magnitude, so we know that it's the same essentially vector. But, what we don't know, what we hadn't considered before, was that there was a change in the R. That's essentially a change in the moment arm. It's going to make it much larger. But let's show that. Let's show that mathematically. We have M A to C, which we're going to do the same thing, right? You have your I's, you have your J's, and then you have your gays. Okay, so let's break this down. We'll have 8i minus 4, 0. People are sitting there going, uh, lost me. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. We got you right here. We got R, B, okay? That will equal 8i, 8 to the right minus 4j. Okay? Realize that that is essentially you have your 8i, which is right here in the box, and then you have your minus 4j, which is right here. So the shape of it should go 8 over 4 down. Remember when we added vectors? When we added vectors, it was just from this point. Oh, what do you know? That's our R. And anyway, let's let's hit up this. Uh, finish this on up. Should have 2.5 once again, right? 4.33. Zero. If we break this on down, I can do this one a little bit more slowly. Focus on your eye, cross out things that are vertical and horizontal of it. Zero, zero. So we know that's going to be zero I. Okay? And you kind of, uh, the way you do it is, you just kind of, you know, you focus on it, you go, okay, and then you kind of just lightly, you know, cross out what is right and what is below it, and you only look at the the opposite the other corner. So that's that's how I mentally do it. Um, but everyone has their own technique. Uh, you get the same thing for J, and then you're gonna add, and this is where it gets fun. You're gonna have K, which is gonna be 8 times, I'm gonna just put a big parentheses here, it'll be 8 times 4.33 minus essentially negative 10, right? And that's all k hat. And what ends up happening here is it gets larger. 44.64, okay. Which we knew it would because that moment arm is larger. And it's closer to perpendicular, right? The actual applied force is closer to perpendicular. 
So that's all I wanted to explain, and, and hopefully we can hit on a couple different uh, examples. I, I'd like to hit some engineering examples to kind of give you a good foundation. So I'll see you guys in the next video.